Welcome. Today we are going to be replacing uh, this transmission seal from a 2009 Subaru Outback 2.5 liter non turbo. Uh, this is the the old seal right here. So basically, when we when we took out the when we're taking out the engine to get to the seal, the torque converter right here um, came out with the whole engine and what happens there is the the shaft it's right here inside the shaft right there gets stuck inside and it's important that you that you take it out again or else like it happened with us, um, most likely the seal, um, it most likely broke when we were taking out the engine. So right now we're going to take out the seal. Okay. See how it's broken right there? It's leaking a lot of oil. So it also comes with that shaft gets stuck in there when you take out the the engine and the torque converter gets stuck with that engine. So it's important that you take out that shaft right there before ins installing anything installing anything back. Check this clip, metal clip. It also comes with it has a, a seal right there, no right there. So this um, shaft has its measurements. So basically, from here to here, it should measure. Inches, almost two inches, point seventeen. Yeah. So, which is good. Cause, which is good. This could move, and that could mess up the installment. Okay, so we're going to install the shaft here. The shaft has a. Um, this clip that secures it in uh, and right here on the on the torque converter it has those holes as you can see right there and that's where the clip um, connects in so you're gonna you want to make sure that the clip is in is not bent or anything so that it could it can can go in safely basically right there and now the, the shaft is positioned in and uh, we're gonna install the torque converter into the transmission but before that um, we're gonna we're gonna put in the OEM seal the transmission seal um, it does not require any seal, um, gasket maker or anything like that because it's OEM so it's just gonna go right in we're gonna lubricate the inside we're gonna check this fits so we're gonna install the, the seal Okay, it's good. It's good. 
see the old one. See. Now I'm gonna replace the O ring with the input shaft. Here's the here's the the replacement. Okay, here's, this is the part number. Alright. It's pretty good. seal okay be ready for torque better all right so we're gonna lubricate a shaft here uh, torque better um, before installing lubricate it with transmission oil okay it's good ready and now we're gonna install it Wanna, you're gonna want to spin it so I can get in. And right there. Yeah, it's good. And now that it's installed, we're gonna measure um, from the torque converter to the housing no. to make sure that the, the torque converter is all the way in. It should measure one eighth of an inch. So. Yeah, it's good. You want to check that? So this is the the measurement that it should be at. Right there, the, from the torque converter to the transmission housing, should be around that measurement right there. Not too in or or out, and that should be it. Now we're gonna install the engine. And that should be it. So to to prevent to what happened what happened with us when the torque converter went completely out with the engine, they they sell a special tool where you you remove the starter and from here you can hold the torque converter. And that way, it doesn't go out completely with the engine, and um, you um, you prevent stuff like like we did by breaking the seal and stuff like that. So it'd be a good idea to get that tool to prevent stuff like this from happening. But for now, it's it's, it's all good. All right. Thanks for watching. That's it for today.